Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is 7th chapter guys. In this video today we are going to learn about, you know, configuring the dock transport module. Again, it is a little bit uh, lengthy video but yes, I will be giving you complete overview about uh, dock's transport module. Okay, why it is important and what and all setting we need to do uh, once installation is done. I hope this is going to deliver something for you because even you will waste your time or you will spend your time so you, it should not go wasted okay uh, you should get you should learn something that is my intention and i'm trying to deliver so guys in my previous video also i spoke about like you know what is the use of docs transport so if you remember uh, docs transport is nothing but you know uh, it specifies uh, the method by which right facts can transmit documents and messages very simple it specifies the method okay by which uh, right facts can transmit docs uh, documents and messages you can configure uh, you can configure uh, you know uh, fax board for conventional fax transmission fax board for fax over ip and message sms messaging okay and uh, uh, the, the doc transport module act as an interpreter between some uh, fax board drivers and write fax server module for conventional fax transmission and it also handles to schedule outgoing fax for transmission and informs the server module when a new fax has been received and need to be processed and apart from this guys uh, the, do uh, the, the doc transport module must be properly configured to allow the write fax server to send and receive documents that is what I was talking about you know we need to configure lots of settings so that the communication should be proper and function should be proper operation should be proper so i will cover lots of things in this video with the help of you know steps and uh, images graphics so it will be easy for you guys and uh, like you know right facts supports a minimum of uh, 120 facts channels per dock transport service so we can have 120 channel per dock transport service now if we talk about you know uh, to configure the dock transport module what you have to do you have to go to EFM EFM is nothing but enterprise fax manager Okay, and uh, here you have to go to services then write fax dock transport module and Configuration then this wizard will be coming this window will be coming to you and uh, In this window you have to go to global dock transport setting. Okay, and uh, here you you need to go and you can see like event log level you can enable from here and secure rpc uh, and reschedule pending uh, fax after service failure so these are the couple of settings we have to do here and you can edit sql connection okay add transport select service account so if you want to add transport here what you have to do transport method adding transport method okay so guys adding transport method by default the you know the dock transport module include uh, includes the brook uh, throat transport method by default this method will be added and uh, for uh, you know most other type of installation you need to add the specific transport method for your fax transport type as shown in the following table so this will be added by default brook throw out uh, throw out transport but we have some other methods uh, methods we can add okay so i will i will take you through those things so these are the methods we can add okay guys uh, you can see transport method this is going to be uh, installed uh, by default and these are other methods methods we can add here like you can see uh, t dot 37 fax over ip and required for creation of administrative dialing rule that route faxes to t dot 37 compatible fax machines and uh, uh, simulation devices like it allows simulate fax sending and testing for the demonstration purpose outgoing fax appears to send but do not so these are the services we can add and you can see here transport selection this window um, now if you want to add transport uh, method how you can do so you need to add click add transport in previous image i showed you here it was down 
so add transport the transport selection dialog box open so this is a dialog box opening now you can select which one you want to add so this is by default coming okay and if you want to add this then you have to select from this side so guys if you select brook uh trot you must select also a specific facts board so these are the board okay and these are the methods i hope it is very clear now if you want to configure you know configuring global dock transport setting so guys global dock transport setting apply to all enable transport methods okay so whatever method you are using this side this will be going to enable to all the transport methods and right fax uses these settings regardless of the transport method fax board or channel in use so it doesn't matter what uh, fax board or channel it is in use so right fax will be using this global setting now little more about it let me scroll down so guys to enable this global setting you have to uh one second so you have to if you want to enable global uh, dock transport setting uh, just select this one and you will get this window and here what and all you can do like you know uh, event log level in multiple videos i'm talking about if you want to select none so no information will be coming uh, chassis critical and error only error and major event only normally if you select verbose all significant events used temporarily to track and resolve problems so these are the you know settings we can configure here event log and uh, apart from this you need to you know be careful leaving the verbose log level for long period of time can fill up the, uh, the event log and may prevent new events from being logged so you should give less time here okay uh, if you are uh, configuring this one then we should give less time and now if we talk about uh, here like you know secure rpc so guys uh, select this checkbox to encrypt the data exchanged between multiple right fax dock transport for example uh, remote uh, dock transport or between uh, a right fax dock transport module and the fax stat program so if we are using multiple uh, right fax dock transport then in, in that condition we should enable this secure rpc okay and uh, uh, rpc is nothing but remote proce uh, procedure uh, cell so it is something to increase security okay encryption and apart from this uh, reschedule pending tasks uh, faxes after service failure so if a dock transport service failure occurs while a fax is sending the, then when the service start again it will mark the fax with a transmission error status so if you want to enable this you should enable this this is very helpful and apart from this guys here you know uh brook wrote a uh, brook trot fax board configuration so you have to configure this board also so guys after you add a, a brook throat transport method to the dog transport service you must configure it to uh, to be used okay uh, with right fax the configuration step apply to all uh, boards whatever board we are selecting here and this is how you can do it uh, let me show you down so guys if you are uh, selecting this then you will get this many uh, settings you have to enable okay cd timeout and uh, audit and error connection ttl line dialing okay so here once again you have to go to this one and configure the advanced step advanced setting optional this is optional and configure the following element for each board uh, configure the default setting for board okay and uh, uh, so let, let me speak about this one configure the setting so guys setting apply to all boards i spoke about it already and to configure global setting you have to go to this one and here like now we'll see what what it is actually what is cd timeout so guys specify the time length or length of time in seconds that the right fax server will wait for fax answer tone ced tone from a remote fax machine when sending a fax 
Okay, so so it will wait whether it is done or not. Okay, it is a wait time basically, and uh, A and I pattern match. Is it here? Let's see pattern match. Yes, we have here. So what it is actually? It specify the pattern of the tiling party information string that will be received during incoming calls. So we can enable this. We can configure. Apart from this, uh, uh, we I need to go to next one. And uh, you can see this is the configuration we can configure the string kind of thing. This thing, okay. And beeping. Select this checkbox if computer in which the fax board are installed should be each time a call is placed or received. Audit setting allow audit select this checkbox to have the doc transport module re record all incoming and outgoing facts in log and file specify path and file name of log file to use if the if the file does not exist right facts will create it when it logs the first entry so these are the settings guide we we, we can enable we need to enable we need to configure with this uh, doc transport so I hope I have given enough uh, demonstration about it and uh, the rest of things you can uh, cap. I mean, you can catch, you can read from here. Okay, I will move to the next one. So these are the settings. Uh, okay, and uh, I have spoken few things here. And the rest of thing you just you guys just go and have uh, your exercise. I'm just moving to next page and this is also I done okay here we have certain levels and you can see field name format length description these are if, if you read uh, a little bit uh, from your end then definitely will get more and more and uh, again level 4 So error correction. So guys, you know, ECM is disabled. If this checkbox, if this checkbox, uh, select this check uh, checkbox. If error correction mode is disabled or does not exist, and uh, RTN response specify how right facts will respond to RTN message. Ignore or abandoned. TT TT ttl line setting so guys what it is actually uh, like select this checkbox to place a transmit terminal information that is transmit terminal information line at the top of every page of an outbound fax this line of text include the transmitting uh, fax machine the date and time of the transmission the fax number the fax the, the, the fax page number and the total page count okay and uh, and if you want to add your organization name to add your organization name to the ttl line you need to go to services right facts uh, doc transport module transport configuration and fax id and uh, if you want to display time display time as GMT, display time as server, display time as UTC. So these are the you know <coughs> other settings we can configure. We can configure prefix <coughs> sorry. I went little down okay here i was and uh, even we can configure dialing setting prefix post fix okay so these are the settings we have with this and very important we need to configure each and everything so here call uh, grouping setting allow grouping so select this checkbox so you can see here set fax id for all channels okay did setting and uh, lots of things we need to configure once we go to this particular dock transport configuration because it is very important and everything is required.
so guys uh, allow grouping select this checkbox to allow the grouping of calls to the same number okay whenever a fax is placed in the fax queue call grouping checks the queue uh, for another fax going to the same number if another fax to the same number is scheduled it keeps the line open and transmit the second fax and maximum grouping is like uh, enter the maximum number of pages 1 to 156 that the right fax server will send to one phone number before hanging up and sending another set of fax pages and uh, apart from this you can see lots of things again we need to configure board board number board module number did settings and set fax id for all channels so these are the settings we have to done as much as you explore you will come to know what and all we have with this and what and all we can do and uh, set capability for all channel configure brook throat and calling party so you can see here like you know configuring uh, brook root channel so for this to configure a book root channel in the in the left pen okay in the left pen you have to go here and uh, activate channel first of all select this checkbox activate channel this one and then fax id you have to give fax id let's see where it is this one fax id here only and then uh, capability this capability capability here only you can see uh, this one like uh, here only this capability we have to uh, select both and other is like let me see dial answer what 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 you want with this channel and uh, apart from this like dial uh, wvm notify reserved dial w ring detect so these are options we have lots of options we have to configure here okay and maximum page channel may send we can define here and channel extension we have assign a routing code to all incoming facts on this channel if no routing information is specified and uh, timed ability start start you can see here you can use the channel with one capability throughout the day uh, from 402 to 2359 or you can define up to three time period with changing capability example start 0 and 0659 capability both so these are just example okay and these are the example answer both inbound routing we can uh, configure these setting apply if you enable dtmf routing dtf mf routing is method for is a method for routing faxes to an individual based based on the routing code entered manually by the caller and to record a voice prompt we have to configure lots of things with this one okay terminator enter the telephone key that the caller must press to indicate that all td mf digit have been entered this is required if max digit and minimum digit are not set to the same value and uh, configure the human answered fax feature you guys with the human answered fax feature enabled when a outbound fax call is not answered uh, by by a fax tone, the right fax server plays a simple or de uh, detailed voice prompt information. The recipient that uh, the recipient that the call is in the call is an incoming fax. This is a fax or this is a kind of information. We can we can make uh, you know uh, some sort of tone there. We can configure. We can enable. So guys, you have to configure so much things with this. Uh, docs transportation and you can see here like uh, 
human answered facts switch to facts mode if all facts is detected voice prompt only okay so whatever all uh, uh, whatever i am speaking here whatever i am talking here is dock transport configuration only calling mode you can see here dialing mode so switch to fax mode if a fax is detected the answers the uh, uh, the, the server start the call in voice mode but plays fax handshake uh, tones several times before playing the voice mode selection so guys uh, make a note pause this video make a note of each and everything what i was mentioned here okay i'm just giving overview here now if you want to you know translating the voice file use the following guidelines for language languages other than english so for this uh, you know uh, configuring docs on demand this option is here okay enable docs on demand and again we have to configure a couple of things user routing code system password couple of things we have to enable and uh, you can see brook root registry settings user account name on cover sheet call type configuring t.37 fax over ip address so guys uh, you know use the t.37 fax over ip fax transmission protocol to transmit faxes to t.37 compatible device over ip instead of dedicated fax channel so this we can configure from where let's see so again you need to go to this uh foip okay fax over ip that is and uh, smtp server address we have to give email address in the from section uh okay we have to give you can see here and apart from this guys we can configure like you know configuring fax over ip fail failover so in case if it is failing what you can do what will happen so where i went uh, let me check uh, i think i went a little down okay here i was so configuring fax over ip address so guys in a fax over ip environment with multi road technology uh, topology you can set up dialing rules that configure right fax for real time failover fax over ip failover when the primary fax over ip router or gateway is unavailable or timeouts faxes are automatically uh, routed to secondary router or gateway so failover ip oh fax over ip uh, failover is uh, compatible with both SR120 140 and T30.37 vote based architecture. To enable uh, fax over IP failover, uh, do the following create two dialing rules that route faxes based on the outgoing uh, router number. Set the, true, uh, set the rule that points to the primary router with a higher weight than a rule. Uh, that points to secondary router so we have to give higher number to uh, to primary and the lower number to secondary and uh, to to define the dialing uh, dialing, uh, dialing rule for uh, fax over ip failover uh, in the left pane under dialing plan okay uh, right click dialing rules and then uh, click new on the shortcut menu and uh, rule edit window will open on the matching tab in the pattern box enter that uh, let me go, scroll down that when dialed is set to is is sent via uh, fax over ip address and guys on the number adjustment tab in the append this box type uh, the add sign okay we have to give this add sign followed by the ip address of your network's primary uh, fax over ip uh, router then click ok okay so these are the settings we have to enable and uh, be very careful 
and for example this is IP address 192.160.0.1 and at we have to give here on the other tab in the extra rule weight box set the weight to a value greater than 0 and then click OK and uh, you can you can follow the steps here okay and uh, similarly guys we have to configure one more thing here that is uh, okay configuring write fax sms service so you can configure the write fax server to send messages fax notifications and system alert by sms sort message service communication protocol to sms compatible devices such as cell phone and two services are available sms via the push proxy gateway or write fax sms service so we have two things here okay one we can configure like sms via push proxy gateway or write fax sms service so again if we want to configure this then what we have to do okay for this to configure the write fax sms service i'm talking about sms service okay we have to see couple of nodes here also and uh, like service account it is so use administrator always it is good to have that account so guys for this what you have to do add the transport method okay sms device for uh, we'll see later on this okay you have to go to sms device and then again here we have lots of things to configure like write fax sms service data uh, data center so unified state europe or custom proxy setting okay so let me show you here select the location of the write fax sms service data center for your uh for your service okay and uh, here you can see again we have to make lots of settings now you can see here uh, like you know click custom so here you can see this is a, a different one i guess let me go little up okay Th these are the things okay here only this is the custom we have here by default it shows united state on euro and custom so what will happen if we select custom here okay that is what I, it is mentioned here click custom and then enter url in the service url box changing the data center setting required changes to your right fax sms service account to change to a different data center option contact open text customer support and uh, proxy setting also we can configure here okay proxy setting to use proxy server select the use proxy server checkbox and then enter the following information proxy server port number ignore certificate and right fax sms service credentials username password test connection okay now let's see if we if it, uh, now we'll talk about configuring sms via push proxy gateway so guys again you can configure the right fax server to send messages fax notification and system alert via sms and uh, this thing okay so this is the secondary uh, uh, secondary service we can use so for this what you have to do you need to install this okay let's see what it is actually so guys you know install the right fax post proxy gateway on your server on the server running the dock transport service so if we have installed uh, this dock transport already then we can install uh, post proxy gateway also okay add the transport method you have to go to this one okay add transport from here and in the right pane select push proxy okay push, uh, push proxy gateway the options for configuring the push proxy gateway appears in the right pane so it will come to right pane uh, and uh, this is what we will see here okay and configure pp push proxy gateway push proxy gateway click to run the push proxy gateway configuration program for information on completing this configuration we will see later on okay page number 165 and number of digits for routing we have to configure here uh, when the right fax server receives an incoming message 
और एस एम एस एस एम एस बेसिकली मैसेज इट कैन रूट द मैसेज टू वन और मोर मेल बॉक्सेस एंड ईच राइट फैक्स मेल बॉक्स यूजर आई डी हैज अक राउटिंग कोड एंड कॉन्फिगरिंग राइट फैक्स कनेक्ट सो अगेन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कॉन्फिगर दिस यू नो लाइक टू कॉन्फिगर राइट फैक्स कनेक्ट यू नीड टू हैव ऑन हैंड्स hand the user name and password that was set up when you purchased right fix connect so we should have this username and password when we purchased it will come with that and to configure this again add right fix connect transport method okay so you need to go to uh, you know in the, in the left pane under the right fix connect right fix connect device you can see this one okay and uh, again we have to give here channel how many channels like uh, number of channels and did setting right facts connect data center information we have to give and uh, and uh, if we are using custom then enter the url in the service uh, url box proxy setting and these are the steps you have to follow now if we talk about you know configuring automated billing codes so guys this feature automatically applies billing codes to outbound faxes based on the user id of the sender and configuring automatic billing codes includes assigning do domestic and international phone codes to specific right fax users and specifying dialing rules that tell right fax when to dial those codes and for this again you have to go to doc transport and this is the first first on the top and enable user specific phone codes okay and check box enable the automatic uh, billing codes feature and uh, add right fix user id and domestic and international phone codes individually or load them from tab delimited ascii file so if we have any file we can add uh, okay load file with the help of this or we can make entry like international number domestic number and user id okay these are the steps click add entry user id dialing code click okay next is guys here we'll see what is next to create table delimited a s i c c file of entries or we have to make entries like this okay and save it and upload it very simple now we'll see like running doc transport on remote computer okay with the right fax enterprise server you can install and run multiple uh, doc transport methods simultaneously on the local and on Uh, and uh, one or more remote computers okay so we we can configure like physical as well as remote uh, installation so what and all we have to do in this condition so let me show you here so this is a uh, like you know basic uh, structure the following diagram shows remote uh, doc transport module in a clustered server configuration so we will have one shared raid here okay uh, one cpu here one cpu here and doc transport is here one to one twenty ports and second doc transport so everything will be connected this this cpu this cpu will be connected with this raid and they will be connected cross so if one is down another should work okay uh, and this is supported by right fax enterprise server only business server it is not possible and uh, like uh, you must manage the number of activated channel across all uh, doc transport module and not attempt to activate more channels than your organization has licensed if the total number of channels on the uh, for example guys th these ports are nothing but they are channels okay so you should activate the s required that much only should not activate more than that and now we talk about uh, right fax oem channel licenses so if a remote doc transport 
loses contact with Rightfax licensing service on the Rightfax server for more than 30 minutes, its licensed Rightfax OEM channel will be released. After three days out of contact with the licensing service, the remote dog transport server will stop trying to send and receive faxes. So connectivity should be proper. That is why I was telling you it is connected from every side, from every end. Okay. And <coughs> requirement requirements, this section describes the supported Windows operating system. So, uh, so here like, you know, Microsoft supported operating systems are like server 2016, R212 and server 2012 and uh, like uh, let me show you local server requirement it should have uh, if you are installing this one so dotnet microsoft data access component microsoft messaging queen microsoft visual c plus plus runtime component a windows account to run right fax services and this must be a domain user that is a member of the local administrative group and has the logon as a service right on the local computer installed during setup so now if we talk about right fax server requirement before installing remote doc transport you must share the right fax uh, image folder on the right fax server and grant the uh, doc transport service account full control this account must also have right access to the window windows registry uh, on the right fax server now installing doc transport on remote computer so we have to little uh, careful if you have changed the default dsn for sql connection on the on the main right fax server you must manually change the sdn on the remote transport computer to match the sdn on the server okay we have to uh, be careful this one and to install the doc transport on remote computer download the right fax installation program from this website mysupport.opentext.com to a network location browse the setup and write fax doc transport require microsoft.net framework uh, like at least 5.6 if this software is not installed on your system click ok to install it so for that you need internet connection and again you can follow this tape review click next carefully read this next next custom and uh, you have to just go through step by step okay and apart from this guys like preventing a dog transport module from attempting to send faxes so running dog transport module that are not set up to fax uh, set up to send faxes can have a negative impact on performance to improve performance you may want to prevent these dog transport module from attempting to send faxes yes if uh, you have installed somewhere and not required so in that condition you can do a couple of things uh, like you know uh, like to set registry key open windows registry on the reg uh, right fax server and below are the followings like browse to either of the following okay local key machine and all and create the reg d word entry don't try to send and set its value to one and dialing rules added to server with this setting will not be executed so guys these are the things we need to uh, configure we need to enable uh, with uh, doc transport and here my video is over and next video we will learn about enabling and using the right facts sync modules so guys if you feel this video was informative and you learned whatever i was capable to deliver or even you will learn one or two things please do subscribe channel and i will meet you in next video that will be our next chapter that is enabling and using the right facts sync module till then bye bye